Hi and welcome to Redeeming Thunder. I am Erica and today I'm going to be sharing a word with you that was given on June 26, 2023. And it started off by being um, given word in the subconscious days as I was sleeping upon waking up, I kept hearing um, a phrase being repeated over and over again. And that's what woke me up. It was, that's usually when Jesus um, talks to me, um, gives a specific phrase or um, wants me to study a certain strong number or something like that. Anyways, he said, you are here for a reason, a purpose. You are here for a reason, a purpose. And so in that moment, I woke up and I perceived that it was regarding us moving to that certain neighborhood for a specific reason. But when I dig deeper, that phrase then comes through with the Holy Spirit giving the word kaka spelled K apostrophe K-A-H and that means for such a time as this so that went hand in hand and it was the same um, maybe about an hour or two later in prayer, the Lord gave. Um, words in Hebrew. While praying in the Holy Spirit. And he said. Lithos. Ki sha kaka. So. I wrote that down and I began to study. What the word lithos means and there are many definitions the original fra phrase or the word was lit that I heard and that could be a root word but digging deeper and I asked the Lord which definition is it because I there were several I'm like, is it stone? And he says, stone, my daughter. Stone. So I looked up what Lithos means in its strong, Greek strong number, 3037. It means a stone. A stone meant of Jesus as a chief stone in a building. So... As we decode the, this mystery given by the Holy Spirit, the first um, word, Hebrew word, or it's a Greek word that we're going to be researching is what does the Lord mean by stone? If we go to Matthew 7, 9. It says, Which of you, if your son asks for bread, will give him a stone? Okay. Luke 3, 8. And the prophetic word given is usually more like an outline format, as in um, like a lecture, because of definitions. Okay, so Luke 3, 8. Bring forth their four fruits worthy of repentance and begin not to say within yourself, we have Abraham to our father, for I say unto you that God is able of these stones to rise up children unto Abraham. Okay. 
So, so far I'm getting the idea that the word stone has something to do with the body of Christ. That we probably are the stones. Because um, a storm met of Jesus, a stone met of Jesus as a chief stone in the building. So it seems like we're in the process of making a building. Jesus is the ch chief stone in the building, but we are all the little stones making of the building. All right, so those are clues right there. We're getting dig a little deeper. It references John 21, verse 1. The first day of the week cometh Mary Magdalene, early when it was yet dark unto the sepulchre and seeth the stone taken away from the sepulchre now i saw a commentary here matthew henry's concise commentary if christ gave his life a ransom and not and had not taken it again it would have it would not have appeared that his giving it was accepted as satisfaction it was a great trial to mary that the body was gone weak believers often make that the matter of complaint which is really just ground of hope matter of joy it is well when those more honored than others with the privileges of disciples are more active than others in the duty of disciples were willing to take pains and run hazards in a good work. We must do our best neither and neither envy those who can do be better, nor despise those who do as well as they can, though they come behind. The disciple who, whom Jesus loved in a special manner and whom therefore in a special manner loved Jesus was foremost. And the love of Christ will make us to be abound in every duty more than anything else. He that was behind was Peter, who denied Christ. A sense of guilt hinders us in the service of God. Yet, yet as yet the disciples knew not the scripture, they Christ must rise again from the dead. Another verse here that talks about stones. Matthew twenty one forty two. He on whom the stone falls will be crushed. And the meaning behind that is by rejecting Jesus, Jesus' authority over their lives, the cornerstone, they lost all of the blessings God desired for them. We go to first Peter two four. As you come to him, the living stone, rejected by humans, but chosen by God and precious to him. When we go into the commentary of that, um, noting that there has been a series of prophetic words given lately regarding rebuilding the temple rebuilding mode and um this particular word is talking about stones using um his people to rebuild elliot's commentary for english readers to whom coming the word used is that which gives rise to the name of prosolith it says no first peter 2 2 like newborn babies crave pure spiritual milk so that by it you may grow up in your salvation eventually we need to evolve and the regular milk level of the word given is not going to sustain us we're going to need some real meat and that is how we prepare for our future we develop we, we gain knowledge we gain wisdom um, 
if you're noticing that your church is not developing your spiritual life in the in the meat segments um you need to rethink if that is the right church for you sometimes we get too comfy of just attending church and singing a few songs and um listening to the word once once a week that is not enough where that's kind of a example of just the basic word where there's just um it's really great and moving but it's it's not enough to get you through the next days it's not enough you it has to be something concrete and it has to be to the point where you have to make a choice everybody has a role here and um, as we read further on it is also strangely used in something of the same sense first Timothy 6 3 if anyone teaches otherwise and does not agree to the sound instruction of our Lord Jesus Christ to and to godly teachings in other words we just came came across in my mind attending a church that's giving the same messages over and over throughout the years like it's not present time word or what would be really great if it was um, incorporating some prophetic word that is of this time of right now because it would just allow you to be it's prophetic word is also news it's it's warnings it's being instructed and it's future tense news present tense news and so um it's helping to prepare the body of Christ of what to look forward to or what to defend your family from what to pray about and um, it continues on here joining him therefore as pros proselytes not that St. Peter has in any notion of a mere external accession the apostolic I said that wrong. Apostolic. I just made up that word. Apostolic writers do not contemplate the possibility of a difference be between the vis visible and invisible church. From this point, the regeneration idea, which colored the whole of the preceding portion of the epistle, suddenly disappears. The thought is no longer that of a spiritual seed instead of a carnal seed, but of a spiritual temple instead of a stone temple at jerusalem all right another example of a real meat and potatoes type of church is a church that gives thorough teaching um that is where you feel fulfilled where you actually feel spiritually full um because we don't eat we don't the food that we eat is physically physical food right but we we also eat of the word so you're gonna have to also fulfill yourself of that besides that make sure it's a church that is allowing deliverance that's a huge part of growing in the faith and growing and developing your spiritual connection with the lord is constantly in root renewing your strength constantly um in purification praying and um renouncing because we're all like in the process of in perfect learning to be in perfect mode with the lord which is righteous 
All right, a living stone, the very structure and the order of the sentence put Jesus Christ first, foundation first, building afterwards. It is a pity to insert as unto with our vision. It takes off from the striking, attracting effect of the sudden metaphor. St. Peter is fond of explaining, explaining his metaphors, inheritance in heaven, tested genius genuineness more precious than of gold gird up loins of your mind so here living stone it is more than doubtful whether saint peter what follows had before his mind the giving of his own surname the word which he here uses is neither petros petros nor petra but lethos or lethos and indeed the whole idea of the rel relative position of the church to the Petra and to the Lithos is quite different. Neither Petros nor Petra could possibly be used of the square rock stone, but represent the native rocky unhewn substranum, substranum part of or whole which pre-exists before any building is begun, even before the chief cornerstone. Remember that. So would be placed so it references matthew seven twenty four. therefore everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a man who built his house on the rock here therefore the idea is quite different the substratum is not thought of it at all and jesus christ is a carefully selected and hewn stone lethos specifically laid out as the first act in the work of building. The only thing, therefore, which is, in fact, common to the two passages is the simple thought of the Christian church being like a building. Our present verse gives us no direct help towards finding how St. Peter understood the famous name passage. All we can say for certain is that he did not so interpret it as to suppose an official connection with his own person to be the one essential of the true church or else again using the metaphor of building the church. Though in a different connection, he could hardly have omitted all mention of himself. He is apparently thinking only one of the mess messianic Interpretation of the Old Testament saying as expounded by our Lord the unsophisticated milk of the word. First Peter two two. Like newborn babies crave pure spiritual milk so that by it you may grow up in your salvation. Everybody needs to uh, learn the foundation first. This allowed indeed of men a direct reference to the passage, Psalms one eighteen twenty two. The stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone which is quoted below, 1 Peter 2, 7. Now to you who believe the stone is precious, but to those who do not believe the stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. It is here says men rather than builders in order to contrast them more forcibly with God. The word disallowed or rejected implies a form of trial or probation which comes to an unsatisfactory conclusion. The human builders examine the stone and inspect all of its qualifications and find it unsuited to the ed edifice which they have in hand and refuse it not only the place of honor but any place at all in their architecture. St. Peter wishes to bring out strongly this absolute opposition between God and the Jews. Okay, so now we've gotten several different meanings of the word stone. And right now we're going to go to 1 Peter 2 5, which says, You yourself, like living stones, are being built up as a spiritual house. To be a holy priesthood, to offer spiritual sacrifices accept, acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. Then,
and you are living stones that God is building into his spiritual temple. What more? What's more? You are his holy priest. Wow. So now God is explaining to us that in the reference of stones, he is having us become scholars and to actually be in his priests living stones is built being built as a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood all right we're getting deeper into this this is good all right so stones or the Gentile Christians and union to rise into an ideal house of God. We are the temple. Hebrews 9, 8. When the Lord gives prophetic word through um, Hebrew words, it's, it's almost like a treasure hunt. His word is treasure. So, a lot of the time, this takes hours. This is all these notebooks. I'm on notebook number eight here on this booklet, I believe. It could be one second. It could be number nine. Number eight. All right, and it's a journey. It's Solving mysteries like finding gold, finding treasure, but wisdom is is more precious than gold. So we're on this mystery decoding and the reward is gaining wisdom, God's wisdom. This is really interesting right here. Hebrews 9, 8, the Holy Spirit was showing by that this that the way into the most holy place had not yet been disclosed as long as the first tabernacle was still functioning stone means building up a palace for the lord to enter and live a spiritual palace eternal son to occupy the spiritual palace quote unquote the te our temple Father on one hand, and humanity in the other hand, and the firstborn of all creation. Colossians 1.15 The Son is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. And holy priesthood, be living stones, they can be priests as well. Not only compose the temple and minister in it, It's a hierarchical order of the whole company of Christians. Organized body or co co college of priests. A new seed of Aaron or Levi. Isaiah 66, 21. And I will select some of them also to be priests and Levites, say, says the Lord. So, Overall, stone, lithos is stone, and it means rising up of priests and Levites, saith the Lord, Isaiah 66, 21. That is the, the decoded message. Lithos means stone, and it means rising up of priests and Levites okay that's amazing okay so the next word was key and that means I am who I am so when the Holy Spirit gave this phrase this sentence excuse me lead those key shakaka he says stone priesthood 
I am who I am. Shah in this hour. And now we go to the next word. Kaka. For such a time as this. For such a time as this. So. Um. I'm going to talk about a Shah, strong number, 8160. You can also spell it as S-H-A-A-H, a brief time, a moment, immediately, suddenly. And an hour of time. Steady gaze, moment, empathy. Okay, and then that seems to be all I have for such a time as this. I didn't elaborate a little bit so much on this, but kaka signifies like that in this way or thus. That's how. And when you research a little deeper what in this way, thus, it means for such a time as this. So you are meant to be on this earth. To be stones. And the process of that is being involved in the building of the temple. We're building our own, we are our own temple for the Lord. But as a church, as a community, we are building a temple all together. All right, I hope this was insightful and that you got to know who Jesus is just a bit more than you did yesterday. I will be praying for you.